Hi everybody and welcome to another short demonstration video for DSLR controller. If you're not familiar with DSLR controller, it's an Android app you can use on a smartphone or tablet to control your Canon EOS camera. And in fact, I am using it right now to control the recording of this video. Um, traditionally, you connect with DSLR controller uh, on a tablet or smartphone to your camera using USB. Uh, if you have a Canon 6D or a Canon wireless transmitter, uh, those go for about $800 by the way, uh, you can connect wirelessly with the DSLR controller. You don't need USB cable, you can just connect over Wi-Fi. Um, but most of you won't have a camera with this capability. Um, for this, the DSLR controller already had an option uh, to use a second Android device as wireless controller. So you would connect one Android device to the camera using USB and you would connect the other Android device uh, with the first Android device over Wi-Fi. So, and then you could use the Wi-Fi device to control everything. Of course, you need two Android tablets or smartphones for that, which is an expensive operation. There are also some other alternatives, there are some third parties that make boxes that are like three or four hundred dollars that you can use to control your Canon EOS wirelessly. But we thought we already have all this, te this technology, so why not build something cheaper that works just as well? So, I'm not sure if you're familiar with these little guys, but this is an Android TV stick. It's just a tiny Android device uh, with an HDMI, HDMI port that you connect to your television set and then it will become a network media player. But as this runs Android and it supports USB host because you need to be able to connect mice and keyboards and all that, it's also a perfect fit to run a custom version of the DSLR controller. So what we've done is we've built a custom version of the DSLR controller to run on this stick so you can connect the stick to the camera, the stick creates a Wi-Fi network that can then be used by the tablet and you can just walk around and control the camera. Um, this is obviously not as fast as a USB connection uh, because USB is just much faster than Wi-Fi is, but it does work pretty well. Um, another thing we're going to need is a battery because this Android TV stick doesn't have a battery. So you need to add a little power bank to the mix. Um, power banks come in all shapes and sizes from like $10 to $100. Um, it all depends on how big uh, you want one, how many hours it, it has to work, uh, how much power it has to have. Um, this one is a 7000 milliamp hour uh, power bank. It works for almost a full day with the stick. So. Uh, and you can also use them to charge your, uh, your phone when you're traveling or so. So if you're not using it with the Android TV stick and the camera, it's not a lost expense. You can actually use it for a lot of things. Very useful uh, device to have. So, uh, let's demonstrate how this works. Um, we've already installed the custom version of the DSLR controller on this stick. So, uh, we don't... It'll be explaining the exact steps that you need to take in one of the links that will be provided in the description. Uh, but let's not do that now because it'll take 10 minutes to set up. So, anyway, uh, I've connected the camera to the stick with the USB cable. I've connected the power bank as a battery to give power to the stick. So, that stick is now booting up. That usually takes about 60 seconds depending on which stick you're using. Um, we also need to wake up the camera. So I'm just pressing the focus button and wakes it up if the power is actually on. And because it was sleeping. Um, ah, I'm not sure if you heard the mirror going up and down. Uh, that's a signal from the TV stick that the camera is ready, that the Wi-Fi connection has been set up, that everything's ready for use. So, let's turn on our Nexus 10, let's see, it has actually already connected to the DSLR controller network because I had already configured it, so normally you'd still have to do that. Now we just launch the DSLR controller, 
wait a few seconds. And there it is. We are wirelessly controlling the camera uh, using the Android TV stick. Um, as I said, this works exactly uh, like it would work if you connect it over USB. It's just a little bit slower. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but I would estimate that we're having about 12 to 15 frames per second right now. Um, the trees don't seem to be moving much, so let's just move the camera. See, yeah. You can see it's not really fluent. I would personally not use this for video unless you really have to. Uh, but for still imaging, it's it's fine, works great. So uh, all in all, the entire setup, um, the stick, the power bank, um, the the special version of the DSLR controller, all together, uh, if you put some effort into it, you can do the entire setup for like seventy bucks. So that's a lot cheaper than any of the alternatives, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, so for more information uh, be sure to check out all the links that I'll put in the description because they'll explain uh, some stuff you need to know when choosing uh, the right stick uh, to use, what the, the, the pros and cons are of various sticks, what you need to watch uh, when buying one. Um, and please also check out our website for any other news. Enjoy!